areolar connective tissue so areolar connective tissue is a type of loose connective tissue why is it called so it's called so because the cells and the fibers that are present in areolar connective tissue are loosely arranged it consists of two major parts they are the matrix and the cells the matrix consists of organic and inorganic substances and they form the ground or the base for any connective tissue the cells are of three major types that are present in areolar connective tissue they are the fibroblasts macrophages and finally the mast cells fibroblast as the name suggests it contains fibro plus blast fibro meaning fiber and blast meaning precursor cell so they are cells that secrete fibers now the special feature about these fibroblasts is that their cell consists of a prominent nucleus with long protoplasmic processes as you can see right here so there's the nucleus which is surrounded by cytoplasm and the cytoplasm has long protoplasmic process so fibroblast fibroblast they secrete fibers these fibers can be of two types they are either white fibers or yellow fibers white fiber is white due to the presence of protein collagen which is whitish in color and yellow fiber on the other hand is yellow due to the presence of protein elastin which is yellowish in color white fiber is always found in bundles and they are unbranched while yellow fiber on the other hand is always found singly and they are branched white fiber provides tensile strength and yellow fiber as it contains the protein elastin provides elasticity macrophages macrophages are phagocytic cells that means they perform phagocytosis so whenever any foreign body that enters our body by foreign body i means anything that our body can't recognize our body immediately sends its soldiers meaning neutrophils in order to attack it and destroy it if the neutrophils can't perform their function macrophages are sent and bam the foreign material is immediately engulfed and destroyed now the special feature about its cell is that it contains a nucleus and it is kind of amoeboid like in structure that is it is irregular in structure and smaller than fibroblasts finally we have the mast cells mast cells are the secretory cells and they are ovoid in structure it secretes three major enzymes they include heparin histamine and serotonin heparin as is an anticoagulant meaning it does not allow blood to clot, clot inside blood vessels histamine shows inflammatory response that is whenever there is an allergic reaction mast cells they secrete histamine and as soon as histamine is secreted there is inflammation on the skin and inflammation is always categorized by four major features they are there's always swelling and then there's redness around the area of course there's pain and finally you can feel a little warmth around that area serotonin is anti-inflammatory that is its function is antagonistic or opposite to that of histamine in case of allergic reaction histamine is secreted and it promotes swelling opposite to that serotonin tries to stop that swelling by suppressing the action of histamine now let's fill this box with areolar connective tissue so firstly we have fibroblasts with prominent nucleus and long protoplasmic processes and they are large in size these fibroblasts are the cells that secrete fibers these fibers can either be white fibers which are always found in bundles and they are unbranched as you can see right here 
they are formed of protein collagen that provides it its whitish color then there's yellow fiber which is always found singly and it is branched it is formed of protein elastin that's why it's yellow in color and that's where it's it gets its elasticity from we have the ground or the base which is obviously contained of matrix that contains organic and inorganic substances then we also have the irregular or amoeba like macrophages that so phagocytosis and fags anything that our body can't recognize then finally we also have the mast cells mast cells well known for its secretory action whenever there is allergic reaction mast cells come into action as for their location they are always found underneath your skin that is why no matter where your where a mosquito bites on your skin there is always an inflammation because there is always an areolar tissue right beneath your skin which contains mast cells and mast cells secrete histamine whenever a mosquito bites areolar connective tissue as it is derived from the word areola which means empty space so obviously areolar connective tissue is also found in empty spaces and that's your whole areolar connective tissue under five minutes